Yes, this is Lekka TV. I'm Benny and I'm here again with Jamie from Rising Ballers. What are you saying, Jamie? You're good? I'm here, man. I'm yeah, here. Yeah, love, love, love. Yes, guys, just before I start, don't forget to subscribe here because I love you forever. <laughs> it means the world. I'll do your hair or something. You love Lekka TV, I do. So just click subscribe or something. Come on. <laughs> now, Rising Ballers, you've turned into the biggest brand in Gen Z football. What are you thinking about that? You have, you have. Yeah, it's quite lit, man. I don't know, I, 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 I try to be humble with it. Yeah, we're yeah, nah, nah, look, look. And I've just seen you did a little article with Forbes. <laughs> 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 nah, bro, look, it's, look, it's sick, you deserve it. Cause I've known you for a while. Anyone that I know and that I rate, it's good to see them doing well, do you know what I mean? So yeah. can you tell us a bit about Rising Ballers just in your own words? What, in what sense, like how it started or... What, what could you started? sum it up in that couple sentences, what you're doing right now? Yeah, man, so we're, we're essentially like a platform, a social media, social media platform um, based on promoting up and coming young football talent. Um, so it started off as just sort of like an Instagram page, but then obviously we built up quite a big following pretty quickly. And then we managed to sort of transition it from just a social media page to like a fully fledged media company. Um, so, yeah. you know, we, we, we sort of really pioneered this, this um, scene of youth football uh, and, and managed to like make a business out of it, working with some pretty big brands. Yeah, yeah. look, I love it. Look, this follows on to my next question, cause what made you start it? Cause you're at uni with me and you yeah. dropped out. it was second year, wasn't it? That like you dropped out. It was, well, <laughs> I probably dropped out second year, but like officially the beginning of third year. Yeah, my, yeah. My parents' yeah. disappointment, yeah. Nah, nah, yeah, but look at you now. <laughs> Go on, so what made you start it? What was that clicked in your head? Like, you know what, I want to put on youth talent in football. It's a, it's a weird one. So there's 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 three of us that own the company. Um, and essentially how it, how it happened was, it was almost like an accident, I remember. Was I at uni? No, it was just before I joined uni um, and the Pogba deal went through to Man United. And I remember seeing like a big headline saying like, oh, Paul Pogba's agents made 20 million from this transfer. Oh, I, remember, cool. I, I remember ringing up my mum and I was like, mum, I want to be a football agent. Like, this is what I'm going to do. I love football. I'm going to make money, blah, blah, blah. My mum was like, yeah, that's great. But like, it's not like a graduate job where you can just apply for a job. Like you need to work out a way to get into the industry. And I was like, yeah, she was like, what, what do all football agents want? And I was like, well, they all want to know who the next big player is. So she was like, why don't you start like a sort of blog or something around that? No way. So it was your mum's idea. <laughs> kind of, kind of. <laughs> and then, um, so I was like, cool. Yeah. So I started this blog and this was around, so I would have been chilling with you at this point. So it was around like first year like, at Bristol. And then, um, yeah, man, if you ask the people there at the time, like our mates, Benny, like they'll tell you like, I was just skipping lectures, running around to random under 18s games, like filming with footballers, just going crazy. And I was just like, it started off like, to sum it up, I started making videos for players. So I DM'd like a load of young England players. Like the first one was probably Phil Foden. Yeah. And I made a video for Phil Foden. He posted on his Instagram. And then I just started getting followers and my page was called Football Prospects at the time. And I got like 10,000 followers in under like two months. And then one of my mates was like, oh, have you seen this page Rising Ballers? They're kind of doing what you're doing. And I was like, fuck, like, no way. And I was like, they got there before me. <laughs> yeah, no, they, got, they, got there, they got there before me kind of thing. But I was looking at their page and I was like, oh, these are shit. Like, I'm way better. <laughs> and, um, That's what yeah. happens in every podcast. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, in the end, um, Eni and Brendan, who were running Rising Ballers, um, they DM me and they were like, yo, like, we're doing the same thing. I like, love your stuff. Like, let's meet up. We met up, got on really well and just decided to merge. And we were like, we'd be better as a three than against each other. No and way. Then, yeah, just merged the companies and just went full steam ahead, man. Nah, that's mad. Look, you know what? I, like I said, I love to see people that I know doing well. And you've actually become a pioneer you've not just done well in like an established field i think rising ball is really is like the perfect mix between you know football and social media but you're using it in a productive way do you know what i mean yeah man definitely it's mad it's, it's so mad i didn't know, actually know that about phil foden that you actually dm'd all these players 
Yeah, it was like it was like in the early days because I remember watching like they it was in the Euros or under 17s at the time. I DM'd them all like Sancho, Phil Foden, Mason Mount, all these players. And I made a video, oh, Hudson Adoy as well. I made a video for Phil. Mm. I think Phil was the first. And he posted it on his page. And then I woke up the following morning and all these players would DM me like, I want a video, I want a video, I want a video. And no I was way. like, cool, oh, bro, like, I'll just start <laughs> making videos. And I was just kind of like, just almost like content creating for them. Mm. And, then, and then like this scene emerged and I was sort of, I was looking at things like, you know, GRM Daily, SBTV, Mixtape Madness that were sort of like putting on young artists and rappers and stuff. And I was like, hold on, like, why is no one doing this in football? Like, we can really create a scene. Crazy. And, um, yeah, man. I bet some I bet some artists now are crossing over as well. They must be reaching out to you, some artists. And stuff. Oh, yeah, man, definitely. Oh. Definitely. Yeah, we exactly. work with loads of artists. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, sport and music and fashion all like interconnected in a way because you all want to be doing all different bits in it. Nah, it's it, bro. Love it. I love it. So, I've seen what you've done with the BBC, but yeah. what's the most powerful story that you've encountered with Rising Ballers? What's like something that you're most proud of? That's, that's a good question. <laughs> yeah. that's a good question. Um, the most powerful story. Surely it's the BBC thing that you're doing. What? Well, uh, we, yeah, we did. Um, yeah, we did a story video with DC. That's. I think that's what you're talking. About. Are you talking about the one with DC? Yeah, yeah. That was. Pretty, that was pretty. It made me sad. Yeah, 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 that was deep. But I've known, um, yeah, we, and it's, it's, that was a real full circle moment actually with that whole Dice thing because um, we used to like, I remember editing videos and stuff when he was actually a, like, a pro at Newcastle and stuff before he got released. And then we like made that, ah, oh, but the most powerful story you've encountered, Benny, bro, there's been so <laughs> many. Um, you know what? I probably head back in the interview, I like pride myself on like hearty conversation and now I'm rapping. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably say, like, bro, that this is, honestly like impossible to like probably pick one but it would probably for me be like um what we've done with our with our team like we, we there's a boy there's a few boys uh, the one that's probably most well known at the moment is a boy called Illaman but basically we set up our team and just put our games out on YouTube and stuff and then players started getting sort of scouted and signed by clubs from our from our videos um, so, you know, I've, I've literally seen boys come into Rising Ballers, come in, a boy called Darius from Labrick Grove, literally just this kid, never been at academy before, playing cage football in West London, came into us, we, we developed him with Mazar Coach, cheap week, put him on our platform and then before you know it, um, he did like, um, he did this like viral two foot touch, I'll send it to you, you can put it in here. Um, but it, went, it went viral, bro. Like, I remember waking up the next day, we posted it online. Now it was like this, I was watching the game and, and it happened like right in front of me, the ball came in the air and he just did this crazy touch and then ran off. And I remember looking at Maz, who's our coach, and we just looked at each other like, we've actually found a star. Like, you know, when you just get that one moment yeah, where something yeah. happens and you realize like, we were like, raw, like this Darius kid is crazy. Yeah, right. And then, and then, yeah, like before we knew it, that touch went out, it went viral, bro. Like I'm talking, it went, it was in like, it was on CNN and stuff. Like it went, it went crazy. I think we grew like 35,000 followers in like a week. Crazy from one one touch. One yeah. touch. And then a week later, we got a phone call and I know Darius rang me and he's like doing backflips on the phone. He's like screaming. I'm like, what's going on, man? He's like, is that bro? Like Chelsea have invited me in for a trial. Like, I'm on trial at Chelsea. What the no fuck? Way. That's yeah, and I was like, what the hell? Like, that's mad. And then, anyway, he's gone in on trial at Chelsea. And yeah, he got he, um, he got offered a pro, man. And um, that's real rags to rich. That, that must bro. be, now. Nah, that must be the best thing because you're actually changing people's lives with that. Yeah, but like, it's. It, I don't feel like it's us so much. Like the players do it for themselves. Like it's based on their ability. We're just a platform that facilitates I, eyes I to be on them. You know? I know you like to be humble about it, bro, but bro, it is your platform that's doing that. And that's, <laughs> that, that's that probably the best thing that you can take from it. And even though you're humble about it, I'd also be really proud because that's actually mad that you're changing these people's lives. Because you know, a lot of people that love football and play it come from working class backgrounds. Yeah, so, man. So it's actually mad that you're doing it's that. Like, football can be life changing if, if they've got the ability, like it can, yeah. it can really change families. Like exactly. that changed that kid's family and like everything. Exactly. There's another boy, Illaman, like Illaman came over from, um, came over from Senegal, I think. Mm. Um, he was he's originally French and then went to Senegal and then came to London. And he came through Rising Ballers and did his thing and he got signed at Sheffield United. And he was, he was playing in the Premier League last week. 
<laughs> or like a week before. You know, bro, this is, that's it. That, no. must be, that, that must be the best thing, bro. You actually are changing people's lives, especially if they're at Senegalese. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'd say, yeah, so like in answer to your question, I know it was a long-winded answer. Nah, it was a yeah, good the answer. Most, the most memorable stories come from that team. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, that's mad, that's mad. Right, so whole point of what I'm doing, like a TV, yeah, is advice for young people. And I'm only chatting to people that are doing something a bit different, unique. So, yeah. if anyone wants to be starting the next Rising Borders page, you know, maybe they love cricket <laughs> yeah, yeah. or baseball or NBA or anything, you know what? Because you're a pioneer, and if they want to take anything like that and do something with the sport that they love, then look, this is they could ask you. Do you know what I mean? So, maybe. what is your key advice for someone who wants to make a difference at a young age? <laughs> um, my key advice I think you can you can sort of go through all the cliches right mm. you can go through all the cliches but the the sad the sad thing is is that they're all very real I would literally just say in my colloquial manner of speaking just be a bad man like honestly like when I was <laughs> when I was the, 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 the difference is yeah yeah like and truly anything Anything is truly possible, but the difference between what I I think I we've managed to do versus what others have attempted to do is that we just went crazy. Like when I was at uni and you know, we had this page and it was doing well, I was just you can ask anyone from that was around me at that time, like it was just completely my priority. Like I it was just straight sacrifice, bro. Like every saturday at uni every friday at uni there'd be a house party all my boys would be like you come in you come in blah blah, blah. and i'd be like no man i'm getting a mega bus back to london i'm interviewing this player i'm interviewing that player and i just prioritized everything around it straight sacrifice working crazy hours balancing degrees jobs business everything so i would literally just say just be a bad man and just find what it is that you love and just go in no distractions straight sacrifice and if you're if you're really about it, and if 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 you really deserve it, it will happen. If Bro, it doesn't happen, I'm, you have a good partner. I'm taking that advice from you, honestly. That's it. <laughs> I am, I am. Like I've just started, obviously. I've had sick people on and stuff. Yeah, and man. Been, bro, they've been so good, but I've not actually spoke to someone. I've I've appreciated their advice, but mm. I feel that because you're a similar age to me and stuff, <laughs> and you also started your own thing, then I actually can take that. So you know what, ever watching. They can say thanks, but also from me, <laughs> I'm saying thanks. Cool, man. <laughs> Jamie, you're a legend. Thank you, bro. <laughs> you can go check out Rising Borders on Instagram. It's definitely worth it, especially if you like football. But even if you don't, really good page. Love it, love it. And you're doing big things and you didn't even need uni. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but this has been Lekker TV. I've been Benny with Jamie from Rising Borders. I'll catch you in a bit. Bro, you smashed it.